Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, if you haven't already guessed by my title, is a what's in my pencil case video. So, let's open this up and see what's in my pencil case. Uh, talking about the actual pencil case, I got this thing a long time ago from a dollar store, so it's nothing fancy. It's just something that I can throw in my bag and go. So basically, just open it up. And here I have these clamps which I use to um, hold down the paper because I usually tape it while I'm at my studio but while I'm on the go I use these clamps to hold them down uh, while I paint so let's put that down I usually have four but I'm using two of them right now for the painting that I'm currently doing if you're following me on Instagram or any of my social medias you'll know what I'm talking about um, here I have the two of these uh, Kinder Egg Surprise uh, casings from the toys. Um, I just basically reuse them and in one I have my kneaded eraser. And in the second one I have uh, part of a sea sponge that I have. It's a large one. So I just kind of cut a sliver of it. So that I can do cool effects with it on the go. And I just put that in there. And the neat thing about this uh, little canister too is that it's flat on one side. So when I'm somewhere, I could just put it there and it's not going to roll off the table. So that's a bonus. Um, next, I have this little um, container, which it's part of a larger um, casing, I guess, or it's attachments. Um, I'm using currently the other one with the actual small lid with something else that's liquid so it doesn't drip out so right now I just have some sea salt in here which again is also for effects and I'm just kind of doing this a lot because it's really bright out and I'm kind of on the lookout for the mailman because I'm still waiting on those half and full pans from the UK so fingers crossed they should come within this week or next week I think so yeah, that's why I have the window open so I can keep an eye out because I'm pretty sure I have to sign for it. Anyways, <laughs> next I have this Dudler PVC free eraser. This thing is awesome. I love this. This is my favorite eraser, especially when I need to erase large areas. So that is in there. I also have these little scissors just in case for whatever. <laughs> This, well, I know as well since I want it to come out. This is just for swatching, as you can see right here. Uh, just little watercolor sheets. It's just some scrap that I had, so I'm like, hey, this is good for swatching on the go. So I have that. I have a, this is part of, um, I forgot what those sets are called, but it's for like math. Um, but yeah, this is one of those triangular rulers. Then I have a feather here for erasing um, any dust or eraser shavings. Here I have a foldable long ruler. This one is a 30 centimeter, so like a regular sized ruler, but it folds up and fits perfectly in there, so have that. In here, next I have a Sakura 127. A mechanical pencil in size 0.7 lead. In here I have colored lead as you can see. Right now it's purple. I also have pink and blue. Those are the ones that I usually use. That I use that usually for my rough sketches. I could be messy with it and erase it. Um, <clears throat> next I have a Papermate Tough Stuff Eraser Stick which is awesome because you just pump it and it comes out the other end. So, pretty awesome. You can see I use it a lot as it's kind of rubbed off, but it's also from Japan. But yeah, like that. Next two things I have are these Copic Multi-Liners, 0.5 and 0.3. Those are the ones that I use the most. There you go. You can get a better look at that. Next I have is the Pentel brush pen from Japan. It's got the nice little thing there. 
I really like how it looks and stuff. Um, I really like this brush, except for one thing. Uh, this is really nice because it's got uh, separate bristles, so it glides really nice. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. There you go. You can kind of see that. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm having this problem with mine where when I use it, a lot of ink comes out uh, like too much. So it ends up being a big blob on my page and ruins my drawing. So I ended up kind of not using it so much. But I really would love to use it because, um, you know, I did pay for it and I do like it. It's just that. You know, it's just leaving big blotches, so if anybody knows how to fix that or if they've had any problems with that, let me know in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate that. And in the meantime, I've been using this pen. It's a Fude brush pen. Basically, its tip is like um, a Copic brush pen. Bas uh, Copic brush marker, sorry. Uh, this is basically... Um, yeah, basically it's like one of these pencil brush pens, but different. <clears throat> Instead of the separate bristles, it's just a sponge brush. And it's dual-ended. This side has a bullet tip. And the other side was the brush like I showed you. Um, I'll show you it closer. So basically, this was recommended by another YouTube artist. Her name is uh, Mystique Arts. I'll have her... Um, channel link down in the description as well um, but yeah she has some awesome great tips and tricks and stuff and I asked her what kind of pen she uses and she nicely messaged me back and let me know so I recommend that to anybody though don't use it for uh, if you're working with watercolor unless you're planning to do it over your watercolor work because that's what I do because it's not exactly waterproof but um, <laughs> anyways moving along Next, I have this pen, uh, pencil, sorry, it's another mechanical pencil, but this one has HB Graphite uh, lead in it. This was a gift to me from a former co-worker, so, and it's in size 0 0.3. I love this. I basically clean up my lines that I do when I use my other mechanical pencil with the colored lead. Finally, lastly, in this compartment, I have the... Uniball Signo Broad White Gel Pen and I just use this like every other artist to do highlights and nice little things on <laughs> the finished final work. Now in this second little compartment I keep all of my watercolor uh, brushes. So basically these are empty water tubes and what I do with these is I have, whoops, let me just put that there. Basically, I have these tips in three sizes, a large, a medium, and a small. Let me show you a small one. And all you do, let me put that to the side. All you do is you take this little thing off, and you just screw it on. Of course, you fill it with water first. Screw that on, take this off, and then you just push, basically push that to push some water, and you grab your paint, and you go. So this thing is awesome for, um, watercoloring on the go and because that one is not fine enough for me because <laughs> I do like to sometimes sit somewhere for a while and paint for a little while so I like to get little details and stuff and I'm practicing on that so I carry around these three little brushes as well um, two of them are Windsor, Newton and Cotman it's they are round brushes in sizes 0000 and size 0 I basically keep them in these little plastic things to protect the brush from not getting damaged while I travel around. And for this one, I have, it's a Princeton Newton, also a round brush in size 4, and it also has a little casing so it doesn't get damaged. This one is a um, more natural brush, and I'm not sure about the Windsor Newton ones to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. but. I'll probably find out, try to find out, and leave it in the description. If not, if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, that is all for what's in my pencil case. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and be a part of our cluster. That would be awesome. And until next time, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Bye!